Welcome the world of beautiful castles. Elps Castle is a medieval castle nestled in the hills above the Moselle River between Koblenz and Trier, Germany. It is still owned by a branch of the same family that lived there in the 12th century, 33 generations ago. Beresheim Castle, Elts Castle and Lissingen Castle are the only castles on the left bank of the Rhine in Rhineland Palatinate which have never been destroyed. The castle is surrounded on three sides by the Eltsbach River, a tributary on the north side of the Moselle. It is on a 70-meter rock spur, on an important Roman trade route between rich farmlands and their markets. The Elts Forest has been declared a nature reserve by Flora Fauna Habitat and Natura 2000. The main part of the castle consists of the family portions. At up to eight stories, these eight towers reach heights of between 30 and 40 meters. They are fortified with strong exterior walls, to the yard they present a partial framework. A village once existed below the castle, on its south side, which housed servants, craftsmen, and their families supporting the castle. Extensive security and restoration work took place between the years 2009 to 2012. Platelts, a Romanesque keep, is the oldest part of the castle, having begun in the 9th century as a simple manor with an earthen palisade. By 1157 the fortress was an important part of the Holy Roman Empire under Frederick Barbarossa, standing astride the trade route from the Moselle Valley and the Eiffel region. Remarkable are the Rubenich Lower Hall, a living room, and the Rubenich Bedchamber with its opulently decorated walls. Prijama Castle is a Renaissance castle built within a cave mouth in south-central Slovenia, in the historical region of Inner Carniola. It is located in the village of Prijama, approximately 11 kilometers from the town of Postojna, and 9 kilometers from Postojna Cave. The castle was first mentioned in 1274 with the German name Lueg, when the Patriarch of Aquilia built the castle in Gothic style. The castle was built under a natural rocky arch high in the stone wall to make access to it difficult. It was later acquired and expanded by the Lueg noble family, also known as the Knights of Adelsberg. The castle became known as the seat of the Knight Erasmus of Lueg, lord of the castle in the 15th century, and a renowned robber baron. He was the son of the imperial governor of Triesa, Nikolai Luga. After the destruction of the original castle, its ruins were acquired by the Aberberg family. In 1511, the second castle, built by the Pergstall family in the first decade of the 16th century, was destroyed in an earthquake. In the year 1567, Archduke Charles of Austria leased the castle to Baron Philip von Kobenzl, who paid it off after 20 years. In 1570, the current castle was built in the Renaissance style, pressed next to a vertical cliff under the original medieval fortification. The castle has remained in this form, virtually unchanged, to the present day. A vertical natural shaft, which Erasmus ordered to be enlarged, leads out of the original castle, and leads to the exit located at the top of the cliff, 25 meters away from the cliff's edge. This picturesque, magnificent, defiant, mysterious and impregnable castle has been perched up in the middle of a vertical 123 meter high cliff for more than 700 years. Its romantic appeal is further emphasized by the idyllic river Lokfa, which disappears into the underground world deep down below the castle. Himeji Castle is a hilltop Japanese castle complex situated in the city of Himeji which is located in the Hyogo Prefecture of Japan. The castle is regarded as the finest surviving example of prototypical Japanese castle architecture, comprising a network of 83 rooms with advanced, defensive systems from the feudal period. The castle is frequently known as White Egret Castle or White Heron Castle, because of its brilliant white exterior and supposed resemblance to a bird taking flight. Himeji Castle dates to 1333, when Akamatsu Norimura built a fort on top of Himeyama Hill. The fort was dismantled and rebuilt as Himeyama Castle in 1346, and then remodeled into Himeji Castle two centuries later. 
Himeji Castle was then significantly remodeled in 1581 by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who added a three-story castle keep. In 1600, Tokugawa Ieyasu awarded the castle to Ikeda Teramasa for his help in the Battle of Sekigahara, and Ikeda completely rebuilt the castle from 1601 to 1609, expanding it into a large castle complex. Several buildings were later added to the castle complex by Honda Tanamasa from 1617 to 1618. For almost 700 years, Himeji Castle has remained intact, even throughout the bombing of Himeji in World War II, and natural disasters including the 1995 Great Hanshin earthquake. Himeji Castle is the largest and most visited castle in Japan, and it was registered in 1993 as one of the first UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the country. Castle Fraser is the most elaborate Z-Plan castle in Scotland and one of the grandest castles of Mar. It is located near Kemney in the Aberdeenshire region of Scotland. The castle stands in over 300 acres of landscaped grounds, woodland and farmland which includes a walled kitchen garden of the 19th century. There is archaeological evidence of an older square tower dating from around 1400 or 1500 within the current construction. The castle is a category A listed building and the grounds are included in the inventory of gardens and designed landscapes in Scotland. Originally known as Much All in Ma, construction of the elaborate, five-story Z-Plan castle was begun in 1575 by the sixth laird of Fraser, Michael Fraser, on the basis of an earlier tower, and was completed in 1636. A panel on the northern side of the castle is signed I Bell, believed to be the mark of the master mason John Bell of Midmar. The castle is a joint creation over several decades with another master mason of this period, Thomas Lepper. Edinburgh Castle is a historic fortress which dominates the skyline of Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, from its position on the Castle Rock. Archaeologists have established human occupation of the rock since at least the Iron Age, although the nature of the early settlement is unclear. There has been a royal castle on the rock since at least the reign of David I in the 12th century, and the site continued at times to be a royal residence until 1633. From the 15th century, the castle's residential role declined, and by the 17th century it was principally used as military barracks with a large garrison. Its importance as a part of Scotland's national heritage was recognized increasingly from the early 19th century onwards, and various restoration programs have been carried out over the past century and a half. As one of the most important strongholds in the Kingdom of Scotland, Edinburgh Castle was involved in many historical conflicts from the wars of Scottish independence in the 14th century to the Jacobite Rising of 1745. Research undertaken in 2014 identified 26 sieges in its 1,100-year-old history, giving it a claim to having been the most besieged place in Great Britain, and one of the most attacked in the world. Few of the present buildings predate the Lang siege of the 16th century when the medieval defences were largely destroyed by artillery bombardment. The castle also houses the Scottish regalia, known as the Honours of Scotland, and is the site of the Scottish National War Memorial, and the National War Museum of Scotland. The castle is Scotland's most and the United Kingdom's second most visited paid tourist attraction, with over 2.2 million visitors in 2019 and over 70% of leisure visitors to Edinburgh visiting the castle. Casa Loma is a Gothic Revival-style mansion and garden in Midtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada, that is now a historic house museum and landmark. It was constructed from 1911 to 1914 as a residence for financier Sir Henry Pellet. Due to its unique architectural character in Toronto, Casa Loma has been a popular filming location for movies and television. It is also a popular venue for wedding ceremonies, and Casa Loma can be rented in the evenings after the museum closes to the public. Sir Henry imported artisans from Europe to design much of the furniture and other features of the castle. Casa Loma has five acres of gardens. A tunnel connects Casa Loma to the hunting lodge and to the stables. Bran Castle is a castle in Bran, 25 kilometers southwest of Brashov. 
It is a national monument and landmark in Romania. The fortress is on the Transylvanian side of the historical border with Wallachia. Commonly known outside Romania as Dracula's castle, it is often referred to as the home of the title character in Bram Stoker's Dracula. There is no evidence that Stoker knew anything about this castle, which has only tangential associations with Vlad the Impaler, Voivode of Wallachia, the putative inspiration for Dracula. The castle is now a museum dedicated to displaying art and furniture collected by Queen Marie. Tourists can see the interior on their own or by a guided tour. At the bottom of the hill is a small open-air museum exhibiting traditional Romanian peasant structures from the Bran region. Vlad III Dracula, better known as Vlad the Impaler, was ruler of Wallachia on and off from 1448 to 1476. Other than being colloquially known as the inspiration for Bram Stoker's titular character in the novel Dracula, Vlad III is known for committing brutal acts of war. In his reign he was under constant threat of attack from both Ottoman and Hungarian forces. During an infamous retreat from Ottoman forces, Vlad III had the bodies of his enemies and his citizens alike impaled on large spikes in the field surrounding his country. Not only did his fondness for impaling his victims earn him the nickname Vlad the Impaler, it also ensured his survival during the retreat, as the Ottoman forces returned home after seeing the grotesque scene Vlad III had prepared for them. Although Vlad III of may not have ever been to Castle Bran, there is still today a strong connection between the castle and the novel Dracula by Bram Stoker. During Stoker's research on the region of Transylvania, he came across the brutal accounts of the atrocities committed by Vlad III. It is said he directly used the name Dracula after reading on the subject, but that his inspiration for Dracula was not solely based upon the historical figure. It is said instead that it was largely due to American cinema that Vlad III is considered the primary source of inspiration for the character Count Dracula. The Chateau de Pufon is a castle situated in the commune of Pufon in the West Departement of France. It is on the southeast edge of the forest of Compiègne, northeast of Paris, between Villas Cotteritz and Compiègne. The Chateau de Pufon includes most of the characteristics of defensive military architecture from the Middle Ages, though it underwent a major restoration in the 19th century. In the 12th century, a castle was built on this site. In March 1617, during the early troubled days of Louis VIII's reign, the castle was besieged and taken by troops sent by Richelieu, the Secretary of State for War. The castle remained a ruin for more than two centuries. Napoleon I bought it in 1810. Louis-Napoleon Bonaparte visited the castle in 1850. As emperor, he asked Violet Leduc in 1857 to undertake its restoration, which was continued until 1885. Chateau de Pufon has been a monument historique since 1862. It is now managed by the Centre des Monuments Nationaux. The castle has often been used as a location for filming including Les Visiteurs, The Capitan, Highlander, The Series, The Messenger, The Story of Joan of Arc and the 1998 version of The Man in the Iron Mask. The castle was used as the setting for Camelot in the BBC series Merlin. The Chateau de Lush is a castle located in the département of Zendret Loire in the Loire Valley in France, it was constructed in the 9th century. Built some 500 meters away from the Zendra River, the huge castle, famous mostly for its massive square keep, dominates the town of Lush. The castle was captured by King Philip II of France in 1204. In 1985 it was converted into a museum, and has one of the most extensive collections of medieval armor in France. The castle was occupied by Henry II of England and his son, Richard the Lionheart during the 12th century, it withstood the assaults by the French King Philip II in their wars for control of France until it was finally captured by Philip in 1204. Construction work immediately upgraded Lush into a huge military fortress. Le Mont Saint-Michel, is a tidal island and mainland commune in Normandy, France. The island lies approximately one kilometer off the country's northwestern coast, 
at the mouth of the Quinone River near Avranches and is 17 acres in area. The commune's position, on an island just a few hundred meters from land, made it accessible at low tide to the many pilgrims to its abbey, but defensible as an incoming tide stranded, drove off, or drowned would-be assailants. The island remained unconquered during the Hundred Years' War, a small garrison fended off a full attack by the English in 1433. Louis XI recognized the reverse benefits of its natural defense and turned it into a prison. The abbey was used regularly as a prison during the Ancien Regime. Mont Saint-Michel and its bay are on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. It is visited by more than 3 million people each year. Over 60 buildings within the commune are protected in France as monuments historique. Mont Saint-Michel was used in the 6th and 7th centuries as an Armorican stronghold of Gallo-Roman culture and power until it was ransacked by the Franks, thus ending the Transchannel culture that had stood since the departure of the Romans in 460. From roughly the 5th to the 8th century, Mont Saint-Michel belonged to the territory of Neustria and, in the early 9th century, was an important place in the marches of Neustria. In the 11th century, William of Volpiano, the Italian architect who had built Fecam Abbey in Normandy, was chosen by Richard II, Duke of Normandy, to be the building contractor. He designed the Romanesque church of the abbey, daringly placing the transept crossing at the top of the mount. Many underground crypts and chapels had to be built to compensate for this weight, these formed the basis for the supportive upward structure that can be seen today. Today Mont Saint-Michel is seen as a building of Romanesque architecture. Charles VI is credited with adding major fortifications to the Abbey Mount, building towers, successive courtyards, and strengthening the ramparts. Windsor Castle is a royal residence at Windsor in the English county of Berkshire. It is strongly associated with the English and succeeding British royal family, and embodies almost 1,000 years of architectural history. The original castle was built in the 11th century after the Norman invasion of England by William the Conqueror. Since the time of Henry I, it has been used by the reigning monarch and is the longest occupied palace in Europe. The castle's lavish early 19th century state apartments were described by early 20th century art historian Hugh Roberts as a superb and unrivaled sequence of rooms widely regarded as the finest and most complete expression of later Georgian taste. Inside the castle walls is the 15th century St. George's Chapel. Originally designed to protect Norman dominance around the outskirts of London and oversee a strategically important part of the River Thames, Windsor Castle was built as a motte and bailey, with three wards surrounding a central mound. Gradually replaced with stone fortifications, the castle withstood a prolonged siege during the First Barons' War at the start of the 13th century. Henry III built a luxurious royal palace within the castle during the middle of the century, and Edward III went further, rebuilding the palace to make an even grander set of buildings in what would become the most expensive secular building project of the entire Middle Ages in England. Edward's core design lasted through the Tudor period, during which Henry VIII and Elizabeth I made increasing use of the castle as a royal court and centre for diplomatic entertainment. Windsor Castle survived the tumultuous period of the English Civil War, when it was used as a military headquarters by parliamentary forces and a prison for Charles I. At the restoration of the monarchy in 1660, Charles II rebuilt much of Windsor Castle with the help of the architect Hugh May, creating a set of extravagant Baroque interiors that are still admired. After a period of neglect during the 18th century, George VIII and George VI renovated and rebuilt Charles II's palace at colossal expense, producing the current design of the state apartments, full of Rococo, Gothic and Baroque furnishings. Queen Victoria made a few minor changes to the castle, which became the center for royal entertainment for much of her reign. Windsor Castle was used as a refuge by the royal family during the Luftwaffe bombing campaigns of the Second World War and survived a fire in 1992. It is a popular tourist attraction, a venue for hosting state visits, and the preferred weekend home of Queen Elizabeth II. Bodium Castle is a 14th-century moated castle near Robertsbridge in East Sussex, England. 
It was built in 1385 by Sir Edward Dalingriga, a former knight of Edward III, with the permission of Richard II, ostensibly to defend the area against French invasion during the Hundred Years' War. Of quadrangular plan, Bodium Castle has no keep, having its various chambers built around the outer defensive walls and inner courts. Its corners and entrance are marked by towers, and topped by crenellations. Its structure, details and situation in an artificial watery landscape indicate that display was an important aspect of the castle's design as well as defense. It was the home of the Dalingriga family and the center of the manor of Bodium. By the start of the English Civil War in 1641, Bodium Castle was in the possession of Lord Thanet. He supported the royalist cause, and sold the castle to help pay fines levied against him by Parliament. The castle was subsequently dismantled, and was left as a picturesque ruin until its purchase by John Fuller in 1829. Under his auspices, the castle was partially restored before being sold to George Cubitt, first Baron Ashcombe, and later to Lord Curzon, both of whom undertook further restoration work. The castle is protected as a Grade 1 listed building and scheduled monument. It has been owned by the National Trust since 1925, donated by Lord Curzon on his death, and is open to the public. Arundel Castle is a restored and remodeled medieval castle in Arundel, West Sussex, England. It was established by Roger de Montgomery on Christmas Day 1067. Roger became the first to hold the Earldom of Arundel by the graces of William the Conqueror. The castle was damaged in the English Civil War and then restored in the 18th and 19th centuries by Charles Howard the 11th Duke of Norfolk. From the 11th century, the castle has been the seat of the Earl of Arundel and, for over 400 years, the Duke of Norfolk. It is a Grade 1 listed building. The original structure was a Mott and Double Bailey castle. Roger de Montgomery was declared the first Earl of Arundel, as the King granted him the property as part of a much larger package of hundreds of manors. Roger, who was a cousin of William, had stayed in Normandy to keep the peace there while William was away in England. He was rewarded for his loyalty with extensive lands in the Welsh marches and across the country, together with one-fifth of Sussex. After Roger de Montgomery died, the castle reverted to the crown under Henry I. Arundel Castle has been used as a filming location for several television and film productions. The BBC filmed extensively at the castle and its grounds in 1988 for the Doctor Who serial Silver Nemesis, where it doubled for Windsor Castle. It also doubled for Windsor Castle in the 1994 film The Madness of King George. Arundel Castle was also a location for the 2009 film The Young Victoria. The Castle of Coca is a castle located in the Coca municipality, central Spain. The castle was constructed in the 15th century and has been considered to be one of the best examples of Spanish mudajar brickwork which incorporates Moorish Muslim design and construction with Gothic architecture. Coca Castle is located on the outskirts of the town of Coca, about 45 kilometers to the north of Segovia, on a slope. It overlooks the meander of the river Voltoia, a tributary of River Iresma. It is one of the few Spanish castles that have not been constructed on hilltops, rather it has been constructed on a steep esplanade. Coca is the birthplace of the Roman Emperor Theodosius I. The site has been inhabited since the 2nd century BC when the Aravasi arrived and settled here. The castle is surrounded by a deep and wide moat that is one of the fortifying features as well. Coca Castle has been declared a Spanish national monument and is under protection. The castle was constructed under the supervision of a Moorish architect and engineer. Such Moorish engineers were routinely commissioned to construct large buildings during the medieval times and were called Alarif. Brick has been used for most of the construction. These are hardened bricks that are capable of withstanding enemy onslaught during sieges. The bricks have been laid smooth with the mortar, so the lines of the brickwork are clearly visible along with the mortar. This creates a distinctive pattern on the castle. The castle has been constructed in classic Mudajar fashion. Xiaz is the largest castle in the Silesia region, located in northern Vaubjek in Lower Silesian Voivodeship, Poland. 
It lies within Xia's Landscape Park, a protected area located in the Walbrzyski foothills. The castle overlooks the gorge of the Belchnica River and is one of the Vabjek's main tourist attractions. During World War II, the castle was seized by the Nazi regime in 1944 after Count Hans Heinrich XVIII of Hochberg, Prince of Pless, had moved to England in 1932 and became a British citizen, moreover, his brother Count Alexander of Hochberg, also a Polish citizen and owner of China Castle, had joined the Polish army in 1939. Supervised by SS and organization Todd personnel, the building complex at first and time became part of the vast underground Project Reza complex, presumably a projected Führer headquarter and a future abode for Adolf Hitler. The castle was subsequently occupied by Red Army forces in the wake of the Vistula Oda offensive in 1945. A memorial marks the site of the first Einstein subcamp. Parts of the historic building structure were demolished during reconstruction. After the war the castle complex was used as a recreation home and cultural center by the communist authorities. In recent years, large parts of the interior have been elaborately restored. Parts of the tunnel complex beneath the castle are currently used by the Polish Academy of Sciences for gravimeter measuring, while several tunnels are accessible to the public on guided tours, 